Hey guys, Cal Torak here. And today I oh Hey guys, Cal Turak here. And today I want to show you how I leveled my second mage of 25 in less than 10 hours played. I challenged myself to do this in less than 12 hours, so I'm pretty happy with my result. Honestly though, this can go way faster. I was horribly inefficient with my route, died quite a lot, and ended up losing my world buffs less than 20 minutes into the run. Shout out to my boy Spankers. It was from him that I learned that you can get all these mage runes at level 1. Another shout out to Solo Artistophy, another mage YouTuber who made this awesome week or that tracks the number of mobs inside Living Flame, as well as Beacon Uptime. You can find a link to the Weak Aura and both their channels below. Lastly, a shout out to my guildies Soapy, Zach, Darbs, and Jake Warlock. They assisted me with summons to get this run set up. Okay, here's the prep I did. I invested roughly 25 gold into this, all on consumes, bags, gear, and skills. I ended up running out of consumes halfway through the run, which really sucked. Here's what I purchased. Spirit and Stam Scrolls, Vendor Water to save time from conjuring, Easy Throw Dynamite and Explosive Rockets, as well as minor and lesser mana potions. I also purchased two Chrono Boon Beacons and three Comprehension Charms. You need the charms to identify your runes. I also purchased some of the Eagle Gear for levels 10 to 20 to help with the speed of the crab farms, as well as a lesser and greater Magic Wand. These are important because they both do arcane damage to help with the healing. Also, I purchased four 10-slot bags to hold all the consumes, saving me time from running to the mailbox or the bank. Here are the talents. Clear casting is super important for your speed as most of your downtime is drinking. These are the three runes that are required for this speed leveling. You want Living Bomb, Regeneration, and Living Flame. If you are new to Mage and don't know how to AoE farm, I have an AoE farm guide on my channel. Check the video out before you give this speed leveling a try. Link below. Okay, here is the route I took for my prep. I got a summon to Westfall. We killed pillagers at Gold Coast Quarry for Living Flame. Then I was summoned to Goldshire. I got the Dark Moon Fair buff, Chrono Booned it, then got my mail. Next summon was the Fargo Deep Mine. We killed the casters here until I got the Living Flame room. After that, I was summoned to the Stormwind Flight Path and set my heart to Stormwind. Next summon was the Lock Modan to Stone Splinter Valley. Here we killed casters until I got the Living Bomb room. The final summon was to Darnassus where I was lucky enough to get the world buff moments after being summoned there. After that, I hearthed back to Elwyn to begin the leveling run. Coming up is a montage of the leveling process. Like I said at the start, I was horrible with my time. I died a lot and tried to do stockades at 23 and 24, which didn't go well without good enough gear. Ended up wasting well over two hours on deaths, idle time, and just bad play. I honestly believe someone who is near perfect with no competition can get this down in under six hours. If you don't have a mage leveled, I hope this helps you out. Happy holidays, everyone. Please like, subscribe, and enjoy the montage.